In this section, we're going to process scans using scene 2023. Start scene 2023. Insert the SD card. Scene should recognize that you have an SD card inserted. You will answer yes, that you want to start the project transfer, and you will select the project to transfer. Click on Start Transfer. Once the transfer is complete, Click OK, and I'll use the Modified button to find my scan. So here it is, 2023-0410, 11 with my initials. I'll click on that. I'll click on Process Scans. I will select the project and Configure Processing. I will check my configuration. Create Scan Point Cloud should be checked. Colorized scan should be checked. Dark scan point filter should be checked. Distance filter should not be checked. Stray point filter should be checked. Edge artifact filter should not be checked. None of your targets should be checked. Ignore the active sphere radii. Perform automatic registration should be checked. Top view and cloud to cloud should be selected. General, use inclinometer, and use compass should be checked. We're now ready to process. I will click Start Processing in the upper right. There are four scans in this set, so it will take a moment to process all four scans. The scans have been processed and registered successfully, and I can see that in the processing results. I'll now click on Show Registration Results. I'll follow the recommended next step by clicking on Verify Registration for Scans. I'll click on Start Verification. I'm holding the mouse wheel down to pan, and I'm rolling the mouse wheel to zoom in. So this is the conference room, and this is looking out the doorway. Everything looks correct. I'll click on the report. It looks like my mean point error is 0 0.02, and that is excellent. I'll click Save Report. It automatically names it. I just need to make sure that I put the report in the proper project section. So I'm going to Faro Projects. I'll look at the date modified. I've found my project. I'll double click on that and save. A viewer will open to allow me to see the report. So I'm pleased with what I've got. I'll close the viewer. I'll answer yes on the left. Are all scans registered correctly? And click finish. I'll now click on return to registration dashboard. Next, I'll click on explore. That's a tab at the top. I'm going to put my conference room inside the circle. Again, by holding the mouse wheel down, I'm dragging the conference room inside the circle, and I'll go to Auto Clipping Box. I'll drag the blue down from the top to hide the ceiling, and bring the blue up from the bottom just to get the bottom closer to the floor. I don't want to cut the floor off. Now I'll go to the bottom toolbar, fourth from the left, where I'll click Top. And then I will adjust the rotation by clicking the floating toolbar upper right, second icon from the left, and then the blue ring. Do not touch the red or green. I now click the first icon in the floating toolbar, where I'll drag the sides in close to the walls, now that I've got the clipping box added and adjusted, I'm going to click on the eyeball on the floating toolbar, third from the right, and turn off the visibility. Now I'm going to go to the structure view, hard left, left side. I'm going to find clipping boxes, and clipping box should be highlighted. I'll right click on it and choose rename. I'm going to type in the word main. I'll now click Save in the upper left corner. In the comment, I'll type in Add Main Box. 
Now that it has successfully shared or saved the shared uh, revision, I'll click OK. And now I'll click on Project Point Cloud and choose Create. I'll choose Homogenize Point Density, change nothing else, and click OK. Once the Project Point Cloud is completed, the appearance will be improved. Now that the Project Point Cloud has been successfully created, I'll click OK and then click View Project. And there I see the improved view of the conference room.